I started freelancing in DevOps and cloud while I was still studying in my college and it turns out to be the best decision I've ever made in my life. Hello and welcome to Cloud Champ. If you're a student or a recent graduate who is looking to gain some real world experience and earn money while studying or even if you're a professional who wants to gain some extra income on the side while having their full-time job, then you should tie out your hands on freelancing. In this video, we are going to discuss how freelancing in DevOps and cloud has helped me and why you should do it too. So I started freelancing a long time ago when I was in college, around four to five years now. And it has helped me a lot. Freelancing not only helped me gain real world experience and earn money, but it also gave me the freedom to work on my own terms. I can choose to work for two hours a day or eight hours a day, and I can choose to work with anyone I want. So in this video, I'll be sharing my experience of how freelancing in DevOps and cloud has helped me financially and professionally, and why I think it's the best option for someone who is looking to start their career in tech. So let's start the video. Firstly, freelancing in DevOps gave me real world experience while I was studying. So I was pursuing Bachelor of Technology degree in specialization with cloud, and I had some experience and knowledge of cloud along with some certifications under my belt, but I was lacking practical experience, which every recruiter is looking for. And that is when I started to look for freelance work. Initially, I started to pick up small projects and test out my skills on it, but later on, I took bigger and complex projects, which helped me improve my problem solving abilities and also to learn new tools and technologies like Docker, Terraform, all of that. I still remember my first uh, freelancing task, which, uh, which gave me $5 and I was so happy. So which brings us to the second topic, financial freedom. As I started completing tasks and taking on more projects, my earnings started to grow as well. As a student, I was able to pay my college fees, which was 150000 per year. I had some money to invest in cryptocurrencies, which I lost. I had some money to invest in stocks. Uh, I brought myself an iPhone 12. And I also brought myself a gaming PC, which is worth 240000 And now I'm not trying to brag or show off, but I want to let you know what is possible through freelancing. And it's not about financial benefits and things you can buy, but it's a sense of accomplishment and freedom and also the feeling of not asking your parents for any money. Earlier, I used to ask money for petrol and to buy things, but now I give them money. Now let's talk about how freelancing helped me got my first internship and a job as a DevOps engineer. One of the biggest benefits of doing freelance work in DevOps and cloud was I was able to land an internship and then a job as a DevOps engineer. So because of the knowledge I had working with so many projects and clients, I was able to demonstrate my skill. I was able to show them my portfolio. I still remember my first interview with the CTO of the company and he used, he asked me for the projects I did. I showed him all the projects. He knew that I had knowledge of DevOps and I was aware of all the DevOps methodologies. And that is how I landed the first internship. When you have experience working with freelancing, you will stand out with other candidates and that can eventually help you get your job as well. So freelancing gave me a competitive edge over all the other candidates and I was able to get the job uh, because the company knew that I have experience working with the same environment and I can contribute to the team. So freelancing can help you get the job as well. Another great thing about freelancing is flexibility and work-life balance. I can work from anywhere I want, be it a beach or a club or a jungle, anywhere. I can also choose to work or I can choose not to work if I don't feel like. I can also choose my schedule when I want to work. For example, now, uh, so now I'm recording my video and I got messages from some of my clients and I told them I'll be doing it later on in the evening because I'm shooting right now. So this is how you can get freedom and work-life balance. You can choose to work for like two hours a day, eight hours a day as mentioned. And now I can earn five times or eight times more than what I used to get in my full-time job. This is how freelancing can help you manage your day and schedule it. So you have a good work-life balance when you do freelancing. Now let's see, is there a demand of DevOps freelancer in future or not? The demand for DevOps engineers or DevOps freelancer is going to grow exponentially in coming future because DevOps is not just limited to tech companies. Every company is using DevOps to streamline their process, to ship their products faster. So you should learn DevOps and you should become a DevOps freelancer if you want to. And I remember working with so many amazing teams and all amazing projects. I can guarantee you that DevOps is going to be there. So you can try out your hands on freelancing. So there you have it my experience of freelancing in DevOps and cloud. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. And I hope this was informative. Now you have an idea of how freelancing can help you 
in DevOps. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.